Good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 13th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, day 13, 2024. Looking here at the Daily Do, the last 48 hours on our sun. No major events to talk about, actually pretty quiet since the last couple minor C, uh, M-class solar flares and the multiple C range. But we have 13 sunspots to look at right now on the 13th of January. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is cresting into view. Lots of plasma filament activity. And we've seen a lot of that the last couple weeks. As well, notable filament eruptions in the northern and southern hemisphere. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, showing a little Earth to scale. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well, pointing out the coronal hole, which is in an equatorial region, but pretty small compared to what we've seen come across in Earth-facing view. Notable there, the last little bit of activity, sunspot region in the northern hemisphere. 171 angstroms, this is where we can really see the coronas in action and as well the magnetic field of our sun amongst the 13 sunspots that we have visible right now. And as well, notable activity that is coming. We've got the sunspot grouping in the southern hemisphere, but a big hole in the sun, equatorial region there. And as well, a couple big darkened regions cresting into view. Current space weather conditions, there are none to talk about. Solar winds are coming in at 433 kilometers per second. Solar x-ray flux coming down after being hyped up into a C-flare range. Same with the solar proton flux, coming down slightly. Geomagnetic activity, next to nothing, sitting at a KP1. And here is an updated space weather spiral by the Space Weather Prediction Center. Showing on the right-hand side there, that's a lot of activity coming from the northern region of our sun. Looks like it's going to topple or go over top of our over top of earth quite possibly get mixed up in our magnetic field we'll have to see having a look here at iswa space prediction spiral showing the most recent cme taking off from the sun and that was yesterday looking at core three the last 48 hours of events cosmic energy leaving our sun watching the last few frames here of these images sizable CME coming from the southwest region. All right, there. That was the most recent CME, coronal mass ejection. Having a look here at the earthquakes for the past 24 hours, as we're still sitting just under 200 earthquakes in a 24-hour period, but notable activity across Oklahoma today and last night. 4.3 earthquake, Acadia, Oklahoma. This is after the update last night and as well throughout the day today. 4.1 was reported. Minor activity through regular regions, California. No notable swarms to talk about, but some interesting activity coming back to Hawaii today. 4.8 there, Izu Islands, Japan region. Quiet across the Philippines plate, only reporting a 5.2 there. Papua New Guinea, Tonga region, 5.4 earthquake, largest the last 24 hours. Deepest the last 24 hours is the 615 kilometer depth from yesterday. And today we had a 580 kilometer depth earthquake, Fiji. South America, pretty quiet. San Antonio de Cobros. 4.5, 4.4 there, Greece, and as well a 4.8 here. Uh, 
Norwegian Sea, north of Iceland, and there's been lots of activity through Iceland as well. Afghanistan, pretty deep earthquake for the region, 4.1, and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days, and I'm going to take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and hitting that like button, subscribing, inviting me into your home or wherever you're watching from. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being a part of this family, staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Now, just saying, way too quiet, South American plate, Central and North America. Heads up. Let's have a look at the air quality report. This is all SO2 models coming from our erupting volcanoes around the world. Notable there, uh, Guatemala, Mexico, and Colombia. Active volcanoes through that region. But interesting plume coming off of the New Madrid. Continuous SO2 plume coming out of southeast, northeast regions of the United States. Overlooking Asia, Australia, Indonesia. Notable on the right-hand side in the South Pacific Ocean, SO2 plume coming out of nowhere. I don't really know where this came from. I've been watching the last couple of days. There was no new plume, but these island regions here may have had a small eruption through the region. Definitely going to have to look more into that as there's been no new updates for erupting volcanoes. Pretty large plume here coming off of Italy. Stromboli and Etna, both active volcanoes through there. Now let's get to weather here overlooking Europe and Africa. Cold blizzard low moving into eastern parts of Europe and western parts. Got a strong Atlantic system that will be grinding into central regions by Wednesday, Thursday. And then some big systems roaring in in the long range for Ireland. Watch for a very windy and rainy week ahead for you and as well the United Kingdom. We're looking Southeast Asia, South Africa, and Australia. Multiple low pressure systems here. Downgraded tropical cyclone off the coast of Madagascar. And look at all these systems just grinding, circulating day after day after day. Long range forecast not looking good for parts of Northern Territory and Central Australia. Overlooking North America. We've got that monstrous nor'easter heading into Quebec. We've also got a pretty strong system heading into Oregon over the next 24 hours, already bringing in tons of rain and strong winds. It's going to be mixing with that cold, high pressure ridge. Thanks to the polar vortex, it'll all transition to snow. And then watch this low pressure system that just came through Ontario go up into Hudson Bay and circle around and come back. For a visit to parts of northern Ontario, long-range forecast, not looking good for the west coast. Lots of moisture, and the polar vortex swings eastward with that huge high-pressure ridge. Watch for extreme weather to break out all through the Gulf states. In the long-range forecast here towards the end of the month, it's going to be nasty through the Gulf. So, heads up. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. I'll give you a quick look here at the model's over North America and the Atlantic Ocean. Big systems affecting the West Coast and as well Europe this week and into the long range forecast. Wanted to share here the temperatures across North America minus 45 degrees Celsius without the wind chill, minus 55 in some areas. They are re they are breaking records all across British Columbia, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, Yukon. Coldest temperatures ever recorded. So now in one year, from a year of being the hottest year on the planet, now we've got the coldest ever temperatures being reported through BC, Sweden, Norway, the other side of the world. They're going through the same thing. Greenland, look at that. Minus 46 degrees Celsius. Overlooking Europe. Pretty deep extreme polar vortex right now. And mainstream media is all over it. 
which is really surprising because their agenda is global warming. But just like Einstein said, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction to this. Looking at temperature models here, you can see that polar vortex not leaving the Siberia the Siberian area and northern China. And here is a look at our polar vortex right now, looking even stranger than it did yesterday. And it's amazing how in one 24-hour period it can change. I'm grateful to have you all a part of this channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, kudos to you and much love. Hashtag do crew. Hashtag no fear here. Just sharing information, raising the bar of awareness and preparedness. Stay prepped, stay safe and healthy, and be ready, folks. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.